the Davidson Sanford Pro Vista 75 XB is really a great general purpose tripod for indoor environments and controlled outdoor environments. Let's take a closer look at this tripod. Most tripods come in two main parts, the legs or base and the head. These items can usually be purchased separately or in combination packages. While the base has adjustable legs, the head has controls for tilt, pan, leveling, and drag or friction. In most situations, the head is the more expensive part of the tripod. The legs for each stage are held in place by these quick flip leg locks. To adjust, you simply release the leg lock, extend the leg, and then re-engage it. Let's take a look at the head. Tilt refers to a vertical motion of the head, upward or downward, while pan refers to horizontal left-right motion. Remember that these directions are from the perspective of inside the camera. So when I say tilt up, you're actually pushing the handle down. Now many tripods feature separate tilt and pan locks. We normally lock the camera when we're done with production or if we're going to walk away from it to attend to other things. This prevents it from accidentally tilting all the way forward or backward, which could potentially damage the camera and or the tripod. When you come up to a tripod, you need to assume that the tripod is locked. Never force a camera to tilt or pan if it's locked. That might damage the tripod mechanism. Professional tripods will have their own tripod plate, which attaches to the bottom of the camera. Then that allows the camera to be quickly mounted on top of the tripod. The plate slides onto the tripod inside the grooves. You should hear a snap when it locks into place. You'll want to make sure that the camera is secure on the tripod before removing your hand. To make sure it's secure, slide it backwards. It should stop before sliding all the way out. Next, you'll want to balance the camera on the tripod head. Loosen the tilt friction to as loose as possible. Now slide the camera slightly forward or backward until the camera is balanced on the tripod. It shouldn't tilt up or down when your hand is released. Once established, lock the plate in place by tightening the lock screw on the side. Now let's say you want to remove the camera. Loosen the plate locking screw and slide the camera backward. Press the plate release button on the side as you slide it backward and it should come right off. In most cases, you're going to want to shoot with these legs equally extended. However, the tripod head often has to be adjusted slightly in order for the horizon to appear level in the viewfinder. This is done by loosening the leveling handle below the tripod head. Adjust the head until the bubble fills the alignment circle. While using the bubble is a great way to ballpark the horizontal alignment of your picture, you're still going to want to double check it in your viewfinder to make sure that it works there. The bottom line is, what works on your viewfinder is more important than what that bubble might tell you. One last comment about tripods. We usually position one leg so that it extends out underneath the main position of the camera lens. This makes it harder to accidentally push the camera over when tilting up or down. Okay, now let's review. The Pro Vista 75 XB comes in two parts the base and the head. You adjust the height of the legs by using the quick flip leg locks. Start by extending the thicker legs first. The head has tilt and pan levers that function both as drag adjustments and locks. Always lock a tripod before walking away from it. Never force a locked head to tilt or pan. The tripod plate attaches to the camera. Once attached, Slide the plate carefully onto the tripod, making sure that it's in its groove. Lock the plate in place with a tightening screw. To remove the camera from the tripod, slide it backward while pressing the release button on the side. Level the camera by loosening the handle in the center, below the tripod head. Align the bubble inside the alignment grid. Double check this adjustment in the viewfinder. And that's it! 
Now get some hands-on experience before you forget all of this.